Lock Long Range Cleodion Transport Astral Fire approaching Earth's Moyen for check in with Commander Elaine. We are bringing 125 refugees to New Atlantis after the embargo was lifted. As with other transports, most of the passengers are female. Contact the station and let them know that we are here. Message sent. They are requesting that we land for a briefing. Adjust our course for a parabolic half orbit to the opposite side of the Earth in order to land on the Moon. I will be glad when we are done bringing refugees though the pay is good. A rest sounds good right now. I too could use a vacation, maybe at the glowing falls on the home world. Parabolic course engaged. It is a shame about the Earth. What? What happened? It sounded like an asteroid strike. Hit an engineering section. Hull compromised. Main engines down. Contact Elaine. Can we make it to the moon? No we are venting air. I think I can land us safely on the Earth but we will have to evacuate after landing. We are on fire. Can you get through to Elaine? Tell her we have an emergency. Communications are out. We will be lucky just to land safely. This is the captain. We took an asteroid strike. We will have to land on the Earth and then evacuate immediately. Take what supplies you can. We know little about this planet. Thanks for coming Matt and Faith. Since the embargo was lifted and the Lorans defeated New Atlantis has been making strides and has formed an interim government. We would not miss it. These Atlanteans are our distant brothers and we owe them the opportunity to become self-sufficient. Faith are you ready to assume the role of ambassador? After all that time in the prison camp this will be a pleasure. Good I am glad to hear it because I need you to go to New Atlantis and help them along with it. Excuse me I need to investigate. Discovery to Captain the station has taken a meteor hit. We need to evacuate everyone. It is bad. Elaine get your people on board Discovery. We will shelter you at the station. Hello everyone this is the captain. I am sure you all are aware we are on the earth. We are unfamiliar with the animals and plants on this planet so we must be careful. If anyone out there has knowledge of Earth's flora and fauna share it with your fellow travelers. On the way down I detected what appeared to be an underground structure. If we walk north for a day we should reach it. We will start in that direction. What did you learn about this area and its life form? The area appears to be perpetually flooded. Reptiles are common as are large mammals. Without equipment we have no way to tell what is toxic with the plants and what is not. What is our position on the planet? There are two large continents connected by a thin strip of land that we saw on the way down. We are on the southern edge of the North Continent. I believe the environment to be hostile to life. We will keep everyone together and hope the Earth humans can find us. New Atlantis will contact them when we do not show up. Tell everyone to do everything they can to be visible and be very careful of animal life.
It appears to be avian in nature. Probably harmless. What happened to you? Are you ill? I was bitten by some kind of reptile and I feel sick. Julie I am monitoring multiple inbound asteroids. They seem to have been affected by something outside of the solar system. Do any of them appear to be a threat to the station or planets? So far no. The gas giants should intercept most of them. Here is the problem. It appears that there is a larger object which has been disturbing asteroids in the outer solar system. We need to begin a search for the object. It will be ahead of where the asteroids are coming from. We have been able to plot a base course for the object. We have spotted a small red dwarf passing through the area at the outer edge of the solar system. Will it hit any of the planets? Is there any danger from it? Its path suggests no collision. It will come fairly close. Here is the real problem. This star is even more unstable than the star at Proxima b. It is releasing huge balls of hot plasma. That plasma could in theory destroy the station if one ball hit us. How many balls of plasma have you seen so far? We have seen about 10. At this point, none poses a threat, but we need to be ready in case one of them comes near the station. Would we be able to stop one of the balls of plasma? That would be unlikely. Each ball is the size of Earth's moon or larger, and they are traveling at about one quarter of the speed of light. I want constant monitoring of the situation. If any of these bolts even comes near us I want to know about it. Look at that. Meteors are burning up. This was not an isolated event. I wonder if there is any shelter around here. The atmosphere of this planet should protect us for the most part. No, I meant for the night. It is getting dark. There are natural materials here. We will start building whatever we can.
Chairwoman the astral fire is overdue. So is the star corona. We received what we think was a distress call but it was really low power. Did they say anything about where they were? We believe that they may have gone down on the earth. We will begin sweeps of the solar system. Unfortunately the earth is on the other side of the sun so we cannot scan there. Shouldn't we contact the earth captain and ask for his aid? There is a solar flare that is interfering with communications. It is coming from a passing small red dwarf. Once that clears we will ask for their help. Are you okay? If you are we need to check the passengers. I am a little shaky but I think I will be okay. I should be okay in a minute. We need to be really careful since the ship is on its side. I am taking a look to see what is left. Help me out. I want to get an idea of where we are. I got off a weak signal aimed at New Atlantis but I don't know if they heard it. System coming up. Readout in progress. We landed on a large continent. It appears to be arid. Here it is. Continent name, Africa. Environmental hazards, extreme heat, lack of water. Animal hazards. Large aggressive herbivores. Large aggressive predators. Poisonous reptiles. Venomous insects. Food, limited. Summary, environment hostile. Our systems are all out. Toxic gases are leaking. We should abandon ship. See to the passengers. Tell them we are abandoning ship. What do you think that thing is? It looks friendly though I don't want to go near it. It looks like one of the large herbivores we were warned about in our readout.
Julie we have confirmation. Three plasma balls are coming from the red sun and one is headed right at us. How long until it hits us? Are you sure? It will take two days for it to get here. The calculations all say it will hit. Try to get through to Matt. What is their arrival time? The sun is interfering but I am trying. They are maybe a couple of hours away. Captain we are getting a message from the station. It is weak and sounds like a distress call. Do you have any details on the message? No Captain. It sounded like that something is on a collision course with the station. Helm all ahead flank. We need to get to the station as soon as possible. Julie are you sure that thing is going to hit us? We have run it three times Matt. It is going to hit. Can we destroy it with our weapons? It is too big. Our plasma weapons or even a blue omega bomb would not slow it down. What about moving the station? Will that work? We could tow it to New Atlantis. That will work but we cannot tow it back because it requires extra energy to tow it back and our ships are not powerful enough. I will have to clear it with New Atlantis. In the meantime, prepare to evacuate the station. crew took the announcement hard. Some slept while others wept, but all felt a profound sadness at the loss of the station. But someone once said, fate has cards that it does not want to show, and events were about to take a strange turn. Matt I was looking over the data. These objects have made several changes in direction. Plasma balls cannot do that. What do you think they are? Are they spacecraft? 
That is what I am thinking, but we cannot be certain without looking them over. All right Heather get Jill, Jake, and one of the Earth crew. Send Jill to me for instructions. Matt what are my instructions? Are you sure these things are artificial? That is what we are trying to find out. Take the fortune and go take a look. This is a recon mission only. Be careful. If they are hostile, run and contact us. Unfamiliar with Earth's wildlife, the humans on the ship were not prepared for attacks by animals, which were not long in coming. Whether in the swamp or on the African plains, they made easy targets for large carnivores, snakes, giant arachnids, bees, and more. The second ship had a much larger passenger list, and they were faced with worse conditions and lack of cover than the people in the swamp were. Hello what are you? Are you hungry? I don't know what you eat.
Commander's lock we are closing fast on one of the objects. The plasma ball has cleared. We are scanning it. Commence scanning. Look at that. It must be from Earth. I believe so. It must have attracted a ball of plasma from the red star. It appears to be automated. Navigator, move in and take a close look. Heather, take lots of photos. What is that? It is writing. Camelot and UESA. That is the United Earth Space Agency. Okay I think that wraps it. Back to the station. Julie isn't there anything Matt can do to save the station? I don't want to leave. None of us wants to leave, Lisa. We cannot stop this. Where will we go? To Mars? Most likely yes we will. We will get by. I wish I was back home. I don't want to live on Mars. We all want to go home. It will be alright. Hello Julie we are back. It appears to be some kind of Earth project called Project Camelot. Bring your data to the briefing area. Oracle on. Trace the word Camelot. Only list results having to do with Earth space programs. Launched in the year 2110, Project Camelot was designed to replenish supplies to various installations in the solar system. Its last stop was to be Mars with a multifaceted upgrade. Describe the upgrade. We need to know. That information is classified and not to be released to anyone under the grade of Admiral. Don't argue with me. I require the information. Please comply. Your request may result in a court-martial. It is not a request, but an order. They can court-martial me later. Request denied. Order denied. Further information will not be released. Our silicon-based friend refused to give us any information. However, I had Derek do some hacking. The information is scant but it appears that this was a prep land event. The devices are protected by temporal shields, and I suspect alien technology too is involved. What do you want us to do? Continue with evacuation plans. Send faith to the Martian colony and suggest to them that they evacuate as well. It will be cramped but I think we can go to New Atlantis. I am Faith Rose of the Earth Space Defense Force. We have a situation with devices headed our way. They are from Earth and we don't know what they are going to do. What are you proposing Ambassador? That we abandon Mars after all we have been through? You can relocate temporarily to New Atlantis. Hopefully it will take only a few days. I will discuss it with the Governing Council though I doubt it will happen. Captain we have a message coming in from New Atlantis. They say that two transport ships have failed to arrive and they are wondering if we can help track them. Apparently they are not aware of our situation. Get me Elaine. Matt I want to offer condolences about the station. You wanted to see me? Well your condolences may be premature. Two transports have gone missing and I wanted to know if you received any messages and can offer any information about how to find them. We did talk to them briefly. Then our station was hit. Any information you could give me would be helpful. If they had taken asteroid strikes would they set down on Earth if they had to? Yes they would. I hesitate to think what would happen because we know little about Earth's wildlife. Julie can you use the shuttle and transfer everyone down to the camp that was set up for the new Martian colonies? We are on a rescue priority. Yes I can but do you think that is wise? Are going to Mars with these devices approaching I mean? That is exactly what we need to do. I cannot run a rescue mission and transport our people at the same time. I will select two crews and we will head to Earth in the ships. 
You can take everyone to the surface in the shuttle. Have you thought of taking everyone to the caverns on Phobos? Yes I have and I don't think that will work. There is little life support there. In the shelters they will be provided for. Okay Matt I will start the evacuation right away. Good luck to you and hurry back. While the ships sped toward the Earth, the crew was moved to the camp set up for the new colonists. A few headed through the forest of fears to help the colonists inside the Martian habitat, while others studied relics and plant life. Even Lisa was starting to enjoy herself.
Hello Oster. I just thought I would stop by. I was wondering. Did you create any illusions stopping the earth from seeing the forests and life here? Hello my friend Jake. I am not that powerful. I just like scaring people. Maybe someday you could join our team, though you need to grow up some. I know, I am like a child. I admit it. So to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? The station may be about to be destroyed. We don't really know, or it may be replaced. Okay I will take it easy on your people. Some have been coming through the forest. Matt where do we start? It is a big planet. Start in the tropical regions and work toward the poles. I figure that they would have preferred warmer regions to colder ones. What will become of us? First we lose our station and now you lose yours. It won't be easy but with our technology we can live on the surface. Well hopefully we will be picked up by a transport though there were no more scheduled for a time. You can serve with us. We would greatly benefit from your knowledge. I will think that over. My base is finished. I think our destinies are linked now. Look up. It is probably one of the Earth ships. We need a way to signal them. Could we build a fire and signal them? Possibly. Start looking for wood. Wait. I see a structure. I think we have found the underground place that our sensors showed. Well this is a strange place to meet Pleiadians. Aren't you a ways away from your happy home? We were forced down by asteroid strikes. Our ship blew up. Now we see the Earth people are orbiting the planet and we are looking for a way to signal them. Some of my passengers have been killed by Earth's animals. I have a beat up transmitter that I salvaged from my ship. I assisted the humans with their fight to destroy a Zorkin device. My ship took some damage and I landed here. I will try to fire it up. You can go with us you know. The humans will rescue you too you know. I did not say I want to be rescued. Thank you. The alligators aren't that bad once you know how to treat them. They are the large lizards you saw. Now let's get started on the transmitter. Captain I am reading a metallic object on the ground in a large continent called Africa. Are there any power emanations coming from it? I am reading nothing but it large enough to be a ship. Moving close enough for a visual look. I think we just found one ship. There it is. I am reading her as the Solar Corona one of the missing ships scanning for life forms begin a grid search pattern look for high concentrations of animals the problem is that there are many animals here so you will have look sharp maintain low altitude and watch for signals professor we don't have any power for the equipment how do you expect us to get this working when we have no power Hook up that old battery there. That should work. That battery is dead professor. There is nothing we can do with this. Hey look at that thing. What is it? Stay back Lisa. Don't go near it. I am going up in the shuttle to take a look. Can I go with you? I want to see. Yes you can sit in the executive officer's seat since you already know how to fly anyway.
they are coming down all over Mars. Shouldn't we contact Matt? I will try to get a hold of him. Look the station is being enveloped by a beam. Message coming in Matt. Mars has many objects landing on it. The station is entrapped in a beam. Send a reply. Tell them we are engaged in rescue operations. I wish I had stayed there now. So we are not going back? What about Mars? They are on their own. I am sorry but lives are at stake here and they outnumber those on Mars. I also have a feeling that this is not a bad thing. What happened? What could have caused that explosion? The ship exploded and now the savannah is on fire. What is savannah? I am not from this world. It is a bushy, grassy plain on Earth especially on this continent. The animals will begin to flee. Matt I am seeing, they are people. We found them. It will be cramped but we can pick them up. Move in and land. We will take them to New Atlantis. Get your people on board this ship fast. There is a grass fire. We will take you to New Atlantis. While Discovery traveled to New Atlantis, Fortune continued searching for any signs of refugees on the surface. This was a job for Earth people who were familiar with the map. After the professor failed to provide any hope of being rescued, the refugees lit a fire in an attempt to signal the ship. The fire seems to be keeping the animals away. That is a good sign. Hopefully the darkness will help. These insects are not impressed. They keep biting me. I have heard about them. They are vampiric in nature. It is driving me crazy too. Hey everyone do everything you can to get noticed. Pick up burning wood and wave it around. Do something.
What have we spotted so far? Does anyone have anything? It has been fruitless Zach. It is great to see the earth again. The grass is burning in Africa but we know the cause of that. I am going to play a hunch. Discovery scanned much of Asia. Head over North America. Zach I found a fire and burning objects are being moved around. I don't think it is natural. Animals will not do that. Close in. Full power to scanning. Look for a ship. There is a large area that appears damaged. This look like a credible lead. I am Field Commander Zach Larson of the Earth Space Defense Force. We know who you are. Please board the ship and we will take you to New Atlantis. Your taxi is waiting. Do you know what a taxi is? I have never heard of such a thing. Maybe that is what they call their ships. These Earth creatures sure are fascinating. Let's get everyone on board. Captain once again thank you. We have been contemplating a solar system agreement that we are calling the Tri-Planets Agreement. I will send a copy with you. Look it over. I think you will like what you see. I will do so. We need to get back to Mars now. Mars station dead ahead. Look at that. It is like a cocoon. What is happening? We all cried that day, except for the always stoic greys. One thing we could take comfort in was that this was no object come to smash our home to a pole. We all knew it was being transformed, but we did not know how. We would have to wait. This is Artifacts of Mars. I hope to return by early 2018 with a sleek new look, lots of babes and plenty of critters to eat them. It has been a delight doing these videos. Please tell your friends who like science fiction about Mars Station, a one-of-a-kind internet series. End of Season 1